Hitler had such a great sense of humor. <laughs> he, he was a funny guy. Yeah. Did you know that he had a flatulence problem? <laughs> now, this is no joke. This is serious business. Shortly after World War II, uh, World War I, mm -hmm. he didn't make it much past World War II, uh, he decided that meat was bad for you, so he became a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. Now, vegetarians don't like to claim him because he's not, yeah. you know, what you'd Doesn't call quite fit their profile. poster boy for vegetarianism, <laughs> mm -hmm. but that's it. But he had these terrible, terrible digestive problems, and he would uh, sound off from time to time during meetings and anywhere, you know, and, and it always made me wonder, what do you do when the Fuhrer does that? Do you <laughs> laugh? Or do you just pretend it didn't happen? I would happen? imagine you would pretend it didn't or happen. Or do you try to do it yourself in solidarity with the Fuhrer? Uh, and, you know, uh, uh, what, what was that big uh, German general, I can't remember, von Rundstedt, <clears throat> said in his memoirs, said the two scariest things Hitler ever said to him were, I'm about to invade Russia, and here, pull my finger. <laughs> so, uh, you know...